Thanks everybody for coming this morning. I appreciate it. I know it's early and it's cold and everything, but uh, we're going to be doing a really worthwhile project today. Well, the whole reason that we're doing this is the foundation decided a number of years ago that we really wanted to try and increase the brown trout population in the river. Uh, just to improve the fishery, there's been documented reproduction of both rainbows and browns, but we've had many more documented cases of rainbow reproduction in the river. And so we're trying to build a sustainable population uh, of brown trout. That uh, is really the bottom line. Of it. doing was counting out 450 eggs to put into each fiber box and it's really important that you maintain constant temperature on the eggs and so here's a couple of boxes that have already been loaded and are ready to go into the river ready to go into the river that's right that water temperature is about 58 degrees or 60 degrees which is roughly what the river temperature is and so these are we're just waiting for these to be planting planted in the river We'll have planted 17 fiber boxes with uh, 450 eggs per box, so roughly about 6,800 brown trout eggs in the river. And, and we've got a few here in the Lost Creek area. Uh, the lion's share are down in Eagle. One of the things you want to do is after a predetermined amount of time is to come and dig the boxes back up and count the number of eggs and that gives you an idea of your hatch rate. And now, you know, your hatch rate is definitely going to be different to what survives your survivability rate to adulthood. Uh, and we don't know how many of those are going to become prey for other trout, how many are going to die off, how many we're going to wash downstream. Uh, we don't know. We have no idea. Well, just basically sent out emails to the local fly fishing groups, uh, as well as members of the, the foundation, 
and uh, everybody has been really wonderful in terms of offering to volunteer and come out and help. We talked with the folks at Fort Worth, Fort Worth fly fishers, Dallas fly fishers, Red River fly fishers, East Texas fly fishers, Lone Star fly fishers, the 89er chapter of TU up in Oklahoma, as well as the good folks at White Oak ISD. What we have here, you know, is uh, a lot of uh, people that come in and fish, and we come in here and build the habitat a little bit better, uh, make it more uh, preferred for trout fishing. Yeah, and, and what's interesting about this area, too, as I didn't mention earlier, is that we also have some natural production here, and, uh, and that's, that's, that's pretty impressive to have.